Hot dang. Everybody loves fried chicken, but it can be a huge pain to make at home. We've got a way to get it perfectly cooked every time. Way less messy, it only takes a few minutes to fry. Yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. All right, first things first. You got your chicken parts. Light meat and dark meat. Start with the dark meat, whoop. Drumstick, thigh, same thing with the other one. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook it sous vide. We're gonna pop our dark meat in. A little bit of salt. Same thing for the breast of the thighs. That salt we just added to the bag is gonna dissolve and it's gonna turn into a brine and it's going to start soaking into the meat as it cooks. In comes Jewel. Boink. Check this out. I think it just sticks right there. If you haven't heard of Jewel, go to chefsteps.com and get one. It's an amazing sous vide tool. You'll be cooking incredible food in no time. I'm gonna open up the app. Open up manual. Boop, 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 boop. Start, go. So, got your drums, your thighs, a little bit of salt. These are ready to go. And the dark meat's gonna take three hours, but I don't wanna cook my breast for three hours. So what I'm gonna do is set a quick little timer. When the timer goes off, I'm gonna pop the light meat in. Let's get our breading going. You just want a high protein flour. I recommend pastry flour, bread flour. We just do salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, pepper. I like lots of black pepper. Whatever spices you add, they're not gonna change how it fries. That all depends on the flour. High protein, crunchier, crispier, low protein, softer, greasier. If you use cake flour, you'll have like donut on the outside. Maybe you'll learn to that. Do, 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 do. Breasts are cooked to perfection. So here's what we're gonna do. Slice these bad boys right in half. Thighs cooked for longer, so we got more juice coming out of them. But they're delicious. Meat's perfectly cooked. We're gonna fry it, it's only gonna take three minutes. Ready to rock? Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna do flour first. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. So one dip back and forth. First guy's going in. Woo! All right, here's the question. How do I know when it's done? You cook the sous vide, you know it's perfectly cooked on the inside. All we're looking for here is to where it looks really dark and golden. So that looks like pretty light fried chicken, right? But it's cooked. We're gonna go darker. For me, one of the beauties about this recipe is we're only frying for a couple minutes, which means less grease in the air. If we were doing traditional technique, we'd have to fry for 25, 35 minutes, depending on what you were cooking, you know? What do you think? I'm gonna say it's done. Look at how delicious that is. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy is right. Oh my God. All right. Clearly know how to make fried chicken now. You know how to make it perfectly cooked. It's going to be cooked sous vide. It's gonna make a lot less mess and it's gonna be perfect every time. Oh my God, that looks good!